With the cost of build being so high right now, there are still steps that you can take as a homeowner to make sure that you're not overspending on your build project. Budgeting and planning is a really good place to start. Make sure that you've got the rooms in your home that are going to serve you in the long run and perhaps even look at building from your must have list and not so much from your nice to have list. Make sure you get multiple quotes from your builders. And this is really important because builders do things a little bit differently. So it's really good to make sure that your builder is aligned to the way that you'd like to build your house and ensure that the costs are associated with that. Choosing the right location is a really, really big factor in cost. Not only does the cost of the land come into play, but also the cost of site works. And depending on what type of soil you have on site will dictate what the site costs are going to be. It's always really nice to have a contingency fund too. There are things that always crop up when it comes to builds that we just cannot foresee. And it's nice to have some funds set aside for contingencies. And that way you don't need to draw down on the finances you have set aside for your build project. And lastly, avoid scope creep. Right at the beginning, set your plan, set your budget, set your build and stick with that. Anything extra that you're going to add is just going to add to the cost of the build. Now, if you get to the end and you find that you do have some funds left over, then you can always add that in at a later date or even just down the track when you've got a little bit of equity in your home. But right from the get go, it's really important to be open and honest with yourself when you set these intentions for your build. Good luck.